Hi, I'm Brian Cullen with Mammoth Ideas, and welcome to Successful WordPress Tips. On today's installment, I'm going to teach you how users can share documents in the WordPress environment. Let's jump in. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to add a new plugin. Hopefully you know how to do that. It's real easy. Go to Add New, and this time we're going to search for FileBase Pro, or actually just FileBase. So there's two versions of this program. One is free. One comes with a $49 charge. Now it really depends on your needs and what you want to do. I'll show you how to use the, the, the free one and then I'll tell you about the pay one just in case you need that functionality. Okay, you're going to go ahead and download and install it, WP FileBase. And over here on the left hand side in your navigation, you get a whole new FileBase new menu. You've got files, categories, edit style sheet. There's a lot of complexity to it, but it's really simple to use. So don't be scared by all these extra menus. First, let's go ahead and go to Files, because I want to add a new file here. Already, there's two test documents, because I did a little playing around before making this video just to make sure it worked right. Here, we've got an Add File button. We're going to select it. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to upload this test doc, hit Choose, and then boom, it's uploaded. All you've got to do is type in a title. I'm going to say I'm the author. I'm going to put it in a category in documentation. And I'm going to give it a description just so that when other people use this, they know exactly what they're looking for. Description. This is a test. You can even add tags if you're used to using tags for searches. We're going to hit Add File. Now you can see that test doc that I just added, this is a test, is already down here and ready to go. Now when other people want to use it, you can go into a page, go to all pages. I created a page called file repository. And here, I'm going to delete everything from this page. And I am just going to click on the add media. Scratch that. Add media. from Media Library and add this test document, insert into page. I'm going to go to Update and then I'm going to go to View Page. And right there, you've got your test document ready to download. If you want to pay the $49 for the Pro version, the only thing that really screams out me that it does different is you can actually upload files from the front end of the site. So if you have users that want to upload files, that's a great additional feature to add. And you can also say who's allowed to view and who's, who's allowed to upload at the same time. I'm Brian Cullen with Mammoth Ideas. Thank you for joining me on this WordPress adventure. Hope to see you again soon.